are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight it's game three of this four game set between the Boston Red Sox and the Seattle Mariners. Seattle attempt to end a six game losing streak next. Marco Gonzalez gets the ball for Seattle in this one. What's your take on him Dan. Hey man we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately in his last three starts he has a whip of over one point five zero lots of base runners lots of hits and lots of walks and that doesn't add up to very good performances so he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today stepping up to the plate Jose Peraza and we are set for baseball here this evening ready with the first pitch here it comes a ball and no strikes. And fellas you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Yeah I get it Matty. The team's on a moderate losing streak right now. Can't be happy with the way they played but they have to find a way to relax a little bit. Everybody goes through these little stretches these little valleys throughout the course of a long season. This team should right itself and it needs to start today. And quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. That accepted. The right fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. First pitch on its way. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. That is third. The left fielder, J.D. Martino. So bases are empty here with two gone and into bat next one of the best run producers in the land J.D. Martinez. He's set here it comes. Go ball one strike. Boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The next 0 2. Misses, that's ball one. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's something that shouldn't go unnoticed. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Two two one more time. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three. Hey this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal on a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit. And I'm sure it was. And that brings in Xander Bogarts as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He'll enter play with a good chance to get over 300. He's at 298. Six home runs and 16 RBIs. Here's Bogarts in the air out to deep left field. 
And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And that gives the Red Sox a two-to-nothing lead. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five? Jeez, enough is enough. That is it. The third baseman. Rafael Devers, Rafael. the next to bat. Yeah. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. His prior history in this matchup, he's gone three for eight. The 1 0. Ball, ball. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. So now to the plate, Kevin Pillar. Nola is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Well, the Red Sox strike for two on the two run homer. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now 2 0 Boston. Chris Sale is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Thanks, Matt. Chris Sale, you're talking about one of the premier pitchers in the game of baseball. Big fastball, 95 to 98 miles an hour. White out slider. Great comparison. He's the closest thing we've seen to Randy Johnson. A nightmare against lefties. Three pitch guy, fastball, slider, and a changeup that's getting better all the time. He is a definition of a true ace. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, I can't tell you how important it is to throw that first run up on the board, and that's exactly what they did. A little crooked number, a two spot to give their pitcher a chance to relax and go out and pound the strike zone. This team has been playing red-hot baseball recently. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. Ball even at two and two. Now here it comes. Okay. Lifted down the line and left. On the move is Martinez. He's around first, heading for two. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, this is what every hitting coach teaches when you start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than you can. Hit the ball where it's pitched. And he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely. And it bounces over for a ground rule double. So here's Malik Smith. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Runner in scoring position here already following the ground rule double. Ball, ball two. If you're going to have any chance against a good pitcher, you got to find yourself in some great counts. And he certainly worked himself into a nice 2-0 count right here. Gordon leads off second with nobody out. Ball. 
three and oh now. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two hole hitter off the bags is always important. He's set. Here's the 3 0. 3 1. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3 0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. And look out. That's in very tight, and it's ball four. Got it, turn. The right view. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat and he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well early in the count expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. First pitch on its way. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. You know, D. Rowe, he is a pitcher's best friend, Clyde Washington. Down in the strike zone, he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees. If he's consistent with it, Dan, which Clyde always is, I'm okay with it. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. A look now the pitch fly ball out toward left center field chasing after it is Pilar he makes the catch and the runner from second will tag and hit for third and he'll indeed move up 90 feet putting runners at the corners now with one away Set to get his evening at the plate started, Kyle Seeger. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Here comes the first pitch. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. The 0 1 pitch. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. One and two as he chases the slider. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Check on first by sale, and he's back in standing. Runners are at first and third, one away. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Tom Murphy is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Sale sets. Here it is on 0 and 1. Throw over to the bag and the runner back easily.
trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. Runners on first and third, two away. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Now at the play, Christian Vasquez. Two hits and eight tries for the series. The catcher, Christian Vasquez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line drive base hit. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. So here's Michael Chavis now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. And he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front a ball and a strike. There's a foul ball off to the right side and that'll move the count to one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering fouled away. Too much dip on the sinker laid off for a ball. A runner at first with no outs here. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. Another full count pitch on its way. He spoils another one and will do it again. Another full count pitch home. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He's got hits in each of the last five ball games. Come set, now the pitch. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Moreland brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. He's ready, here's the 01. Four foul balls in this A.B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. The one two. Down the third baseline. 
But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored. If a looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. And here's Jose Peraza as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Now the two one pitch. Hit to third. He'll go to second for one, and it's by him into right field. And he'll come in to score from second base, and that is a direct result, obviously, of that poor, poor throw. Now that well, definitely should have been a two ball there, but you got to get one first. Got under the feed to second and just sailed it. Could be a costly mistake. Runners on the corners now with one man gone and that brings up the outfielder Alex Verdugo. First pitch of the at bat. Hey the way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find the zone I'm not mad at the guy taking the pitch. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Now the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Fielded cleanly. And out at first as he almost beat him to the bag that time, but the foot just beats the runner for route number two. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you can do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. At the plate, J.D. Martinez. Get him down now. He's set and the pitch. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Two out here and a runner at second. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Martinez is a prolific power hitter and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces. There's a lot of pop in that bat. Three and one to Martinez. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's three one in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Thank you, mate. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. You know, that's sort of a tough one since it's only the second inning. But I think it's about knowing your pitcher and how they respond. He's had some struggles here. So I think he's just reminding him to let those go and focus on the next batter.
So two on with two away and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball Xander Bogarts. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Strike one to start the at bat. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Ball one. Two men are on with two men out. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. And they'll tack on one more as this is now a 5 nothing game. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bond, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound and we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So as he leaves I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening as he certainly was not sharp. Eric Swanson is going to come on in relief now and he may be asked to eat several innings as this game is just still really getting underway. Here now is Rafael Devers. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And Seeger will put this one away to retire the side. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning, one error in the inning, and a couple of men left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Red Sox on top, five to nothing. Leading off the inning, Evan White, and they'll need him to get something going here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. And he fouls this one off. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Standing in now, Austin Nova. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's 1 and 2 now. Now the pitch. 
A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back to back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning and now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. And this is low ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Two balls and a strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Welcome back to T-Mobile Park in Seattle as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out of the gate was huge for them from a confidence standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. Thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the Red Sox. Standing in, Kevin Pillar. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks like a right-hander's up to throw. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Here's the one and one pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he lays off there. Ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Now back. Christian Vasquez. Stepping into the box. Christian Vasquez. He singled his last time up. Now a throw over. And he's back standing. From the belt, the pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nobody out, runner on first. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now back. Designated. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. At the plate now, Michael Chavis. 
as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No official at bat for him but he has scored a run in this one. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Here's a late swing and a miss strike two. Man when you're struggling at the plate that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you trying to end it quick. First and second here with nobody out. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Pilar rounds the corner and is headed home. He scores. As they pile on, it's now a 6 0 game. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. He's got a big old smile on his face. He knows he has a six run lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. Into the box, Mitch Moreland. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 0. That's the ball. Hey, not a good spot to be down 2 0. This guy has some serious pop at the plate. I'm expecting a big hack here. From the belt, kicks and deals. That's a ball. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. The 3 1. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And he will somehow keep his eye on the baseball there as he has it for a big out number one. Second baseman. One gone here in the Boston third. And digging into bat next, it'll be Jose Peraza. From the stretch. Strike! Oh and one. The 0 and 1 delivery. Oh. Come on. Woo. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Runner on first in a double play situation. So you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously the double play is more efficient. But you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Stepping in now. Alex Verdugo. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Drilled right back up the middle and that'll get through into center field for a base hit and now gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem and he is in to score from second as the throwing mistake oh, defensively good. came back to factor into that one.
hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. Ball one. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Martinez carries a batting line little over the 260 mark. Two balls and no strikes now to the Red Sox left fielder. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2 0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Has a look, now the pitch. That's popped up. And no one will track it down. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. And it's fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Heading out towards shallow right. Waiting on it is Henniger. And the inning is over. So two runs on three hits. No errors. And two men left on base. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Red Sox seven and the Mariners nothing. So striding in, Tim Lopes as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First pitch of the at bat. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. The wind up and the 0 1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 1. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. Here's the pitch. Slow little grounder left side. Devers has it. And there's one away. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. Gordon. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next is Speedy D. Gordon. Here's the first pitch to him. Slice down the left side, but foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And a swing and a miss and another punch out here six already and that's out number two that swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on it's really not the best two strike approach either Malik Smith the next to hit as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He enters play here at 288, two home runs, and seven driven in. Sail into the windup. Here it comes on 1 0. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Two out, nobody on. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Now the pitch. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Mariners are down in order. They're down by a touchdown, 7-0. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In there, 0-1. 
Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh. Hard hit toward the hole. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Well, Dan, the sun goes down and this guy lights up right here. That's his third knock of the night. Talk about having a good night. Three hits, and hey, he might have another at bat or two before this one ends. At the plate, Rafael Devers. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And he lays off for ball one. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Bullet back up the middle. Smith has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Now batter, the center fielder, Kevin Pillar. Now in the box, Kevin Pillar. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 0-1 the count. Throw over to first, and he'll dive back in safely. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Here's the one and one delivery. Lined hard toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Just an unbelievable piece of hitting right there. Staying on the inner half of that baseball right there. Staying to it and through it. Not coming around it and able to drive it the other way for a base hit. In now, Christian Vasquez. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Hard liner but picked up on a hop to Gordon for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So it's no runs on two hits no errors and one man left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Red Sox seven and the Mariners nothing. Into the box now. Mitch Hanniger is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. On 
down. He couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Two and one. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this now walk will jumpstart their first. offense a little bit. Here's the third baseman now, Seager. Kyle Seeger, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch-outs will stick with you a little oh. longer. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Seeger. Stands at six foot even. Bats left, throws right. He was selected in the third round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And that misses two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. No. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. No runs, just one hit and one error in the ballgame for Seattle. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Has a look, now the pitch. Oh. Here we go. Nope, that's high. Runner at first here, one man out. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. So now to the plate, Evan White, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try.
the 1-0. In the air out to straightaway left. Martinez has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mariners leave one. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing. Now the Red Sox DH, Michael Chavis. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. The 1 0. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. And right into the shift. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Hard hit at third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. The throw into second. Throw won't get him. So some real problems out there that time as it'll wind up in E7. At the plate now, Mitch Moreland. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. Now batting the second baseman, Jose Peraza. Striding in for Boston, Jose Peraza. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's set. Here it comes. No balls in one strike. Seven runs, 11 hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up, but this will land untouched. Here it comes on nothing and two. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Standing in now, Alex Verdugo. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0 is a fastball that misses. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Let's go! 2 0 count, the pitch. Woo! Nope, that's off the plate. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. A man on third with two down. Hit to first. Right to him. 
And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Red Sox lead one, and they hold a 7 0 lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind, so the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Thank you, Heidi. The left fielder. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Martinez has a read on it, and that's the first out of the inning. The batter, the designated hitter, Gillard Moore. Stepping in, Dylan Moore looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now here's the pitch. One out, nobody on. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Swing and a miss at a ball tailing out of the zone, two and two. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury okay. stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a ball line softly down the line in right, but foul. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And a fastball misses their ball four. The batter number ten. Digging in now for the Mariners, Tim Lopes. First pitch to him. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Lopes, a California born ball player. He was taken in the sixth round during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Three and oh now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Now the 3 and 0 offering is looked at for the first strike. Let's go, Mariner. And he misses again here. It's ball four. And that's back-to-back -back walks here with one away. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Here's D. Gordon now. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First offering on its way. Ball outside. From the stretch. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. 
this offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters and a slider bounces and that gets away good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. To the plate now, Malik Smith fouled off. one here's the pitch hit hard towards center and that's in there base hit one run is scored and he is in there hey guys he's lucky he's getting this baseball back he hung that the middle of the plate the, right the batter's field. eyes lit up and he was able to put good wood on Hedegar. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike it was a walk in his last trip and a good idea to hold off on that swing it's ball one Hanniger stands six two as you see him in the right handed box he's a five year vet at the major league level. One and two now as that one's fouled off. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Martinez. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting. The third baseman, Kyle Seeger. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Kyle Seeger. And he's at risk of the old hat trick. Two strikeouts on his line so far. Again, it seems like these hat tricks and golden sombreros are a lot more common than they were, say, 10, 15 years ago. Guys have stopped worried about striking out as much. It's really been an ideological shift in the game. That's a big topic of debate. Yeah, guy's not going to worry about three strikeouts if he. Seeger, right field and carrying well. And that one is gone. And that's a special home run. Kyle Seeger continues to add to his major league total. That's the 200th home run in what's turning into a pretty nice career. And guys, 200 homers is a feat a lot of players never even get close to. If you get to this point, you've definitely established yourself as something of a decent power threat. So you can bet pitchers are aware of his power when he steps into the batter's box. He's definitely earned some respect. in now Tom Murphy as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play no hits to this point sail into the windup 0 1 pitch on its way 
Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Swing and he rockets this one down the left field line. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in the second with a two out double. When it left his bat I thought it might squirt foul but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. In now, Evan White, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Two balls and a strike to the Mariners' first baseman. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defenders standing flat for much longer. Now the 2 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ballgame, and the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More from MLB Network Saturday Baseball after this. Your Matt McGill takes over to start now the sixth inning three. on the mound. Number 51. Matt McGill. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. And it was quite a turn of events we witnessed in the last half. A lot of runs put up on the board, and we've got a very close game on our hands now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Struck him out. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Into the box, Xander Bogarts. Look out! Hot shot to third, and there are two away. The batter, the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 is laid off of for ball number three. three ball. 
Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. The center fielder, Kevin Pillar. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Pillar. He's one for two in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Two out with the man at first. Ball two. I got to count two and two. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Working for the punch out and the offering. In the air to straightaway right. Waiting on it is Henniger. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. One left for the Red Sox. They lead it 7-5. Ready once again, Austin Nova. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. No, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And now the second pitch of the inning will be his 100th of the ball game. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. A 2 and 0 count to the Mariners left fielder. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. It looked like this at bat had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3-0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. Into the box now, Dylan Moore, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Throw not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. Batter number 10. Good job. Yeah. A check on first by Sale. And a dive, but he's back.
at the plate, Tim Lopes. Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short as he'll hang on here to record the second out. Now back the second baseman, D. Jordan. And here's the speedster D. Gordon. Two for three with a double on his line so far. And prior to the first pitch, he'll look to first. And he'll get back in standing. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. The guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high. So this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end. Steel. And there he goes toward second. Strike taken, the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. I like the decision to steal right there, and it worked out. With two outs, there's not a lot to lose if you get caught, but if you get there successfully, all of a sudden you're just a single to the outfield from pushing a run across. Sale sets. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. And he's safe. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound. And he's going to make a change as that'll be all for his starter, Chris Sale. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run comes across to score. Darwin's in Hernandez, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Darwin's in Hernandez. Standing in now, Malik Smith. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. Come set, the 0 1. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. Yeah, giving up an RBI double is always painful, but even more so when there are two outs in the inning. A run had already crossed the plate, and then he gives up a blistering double to allow another run on the ball. At the plate now, Mitch Hanniger. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Spin and a throw back to second, and he'll dive back in. Two out here and a runner at second. He's going, he's runner going, goes he's going. for third. Pitch outside the throw. And he'll be tagged out trying to steal third. And that just doesn't make much sense as the inning is over. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through six full, and we are tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Carl Edwards Jr. is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. up for the Red Sox Christian Vasquez he'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh yeah. 
Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. A one and no delivery. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count, 2-0. and oh, It's time to start getting locked in. Down low, and the plot thickens here, 3-0. and oh. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The three one takes a strike for a full count now, three and two. Payoff pitch home. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the now last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. So striding forward now, Michael Chavis. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1 0. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Squared that one up just a little late. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws his good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Stepping in now, Mitch Moreland, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 0. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. In the dirt here, and the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2 0. Down the first baseline, but this will get fouled two and one. Again, another foul ball. The two two in the dirt. He is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go-ahead run into scoring position. Well, when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt, that's the danger. You have to trust your catcher, but this one skips away, and the open base takes the double opportunity away with it. Might prove to be costly. Now the three and two pitch. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Good pitch there, and that was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt.
Riding in once again, number three. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much, 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. He's set and the pitch. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. A ball and no strikes. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that for a strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Here's the 3 1. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. Now batting the right fielder, Alec. Into the box, Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. And their runners at the corners now. As a look, now the pitch. Smoke toward the hole. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Lee Hembry gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 37, Keith Hembry. At the plate, Mitch Hanniger. Leading off, the Mariners. The White right Hughes. Mitch Hanniger. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. The 1-0. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Two balls and a strike. And he lays off again, ball three. There's Kyle Seeger in the on-deck circle. We'll see him next. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Now the payoff pitch home. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. 
leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. Now that was a pretty good at bat and that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. To the plate now, Kyle Seeger as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Here it comes. Ball one. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Bases are empty. One man out. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Into the corner and slicing foul. The next three, two. He is swung on and missed strike three. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. So now to the plate, Tom Murphy, as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Here now the 2-2. This one's down to third. Devers gloves it. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we are tied 7-7. Austin Adams has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 53, Austin Adams. Here's J.D. Martinez. Moving off to the left side. The left field. J.D. Martinez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. A high strike there, and it's one and one. Pitch on the way. Nope. To two and two now. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Here now the 2-2. And he popped him up. Coming in is Hanniger, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A-B. 
In now, Xander Bogarts. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. The set and the 1 0 pitch. Takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. Throw will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now is still nobody out. Boy, talk about having a day, Debo. He gets his fourth knock of the game, but mixed in with one of those four was a round tripper. Not a bad day. Yeah, you have five, maybe a handful of games that you can throw out four knocks throughout the course of the year. Add in a tater to go with it. He's smiling. His food's going to taste better tonight. Standing in now, Rafael Devers, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. From the belt, kicks and deals. That's lifted the other way out to left. Nola is there, and he makes the catch for the out. It's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. From the stretch. Nope, that's away. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. swing there as a pitcher you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance ready on one and two and a sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball yeah doubled up on the slider away there got him to go after it before so why not see if he'll offer at it again Here now the 2-2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. First and second now, one man out. Ah, tied him up there as this is softly hit down the line. And that is down for extra bases as that ought to plate the go-ahead run and maybe another. The runner scores from second. Boy, those have to feel really good, d -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. At the plate, Christian Vasquez. This will lay off a slider too low, ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. One and one count now to Vasquez. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. Two and one. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. The two one. 
broken bat as this ball is hit on the ground. Reined in. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. Ready now, Michael Chavis. So far, two for three in this one. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Line towards center field. Smith is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Red Sox strike for a run on the RBI double. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Red Sox eight and the Mariners seven. Your Matt Barnes is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 32, Matt Barnes. Striding into the box, Evan White. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. No balls and a strike to count. and one here it comes now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there one and one here it comes belted high in the air out to left back goes Martinez to the track that one is out of here. This game is tied. So that's his first home run in the big leagues, and it's fair to say it's a moment he'll never forget. Well, there's no doubt about that, Matt. People ask him 50 years from now who he hit it off of and what stadium he was playing in, and he'll remember it all. Heck, he'll probably remember what kind of pitch it was, too. Hopefully he can get the ball back so that can go in his trophy case forever. Austin Nova as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. This one runs a little too far in ball two. The set and the two and one pitch. No outs, nobody on. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Into the box now, Dylan Moore, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's one for two in this one.
well outside with the curveball for a ball. This is foul right side. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. The one two. Nope, at the ball. Curveball grounded towards second. Fielded cleanly. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. The ball, the shortstop, here. Whoa. Carlos Gonzalez will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. He's hitting for the Mariners. Number 27, Carlos. Four year old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0 1. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Comes set, the 0 1. Fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Mariners strike back to tie things on the solo home run. Ninth inning coming up, and we are deadlocked at eight apiece. Yoshihisa Hirano will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. J.P. Crawford is into the ball game as a defensive replacement. He'll be the new shortstop here. So coming to the plate, Mitch Moreland. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. The first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. one there's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner but it bends just foul into the second deck here it comes on nothing and two got him and that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one so the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate Jose Peraza looking to change his fortunes here 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game first pitch on its way fouled away just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. One out, nobody on. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. Okay. Full count to Jose Peraza. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Now batting right fielder Alex. Digging in Alex Verdugo. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Here's the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. 
Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. To Gordon for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. The battle. Well, that's so usually a pretty tough turn at second when you're going around the horn. And I think he knew he was going to get taken out, so that was a good job to take the blow, get the out, and eat the throw. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. One and one. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing and he's down one and two. You got to be paying attention as an offense in the hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws you have to elevate your sights. A one two pitch. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. To first. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Red Sox lead one. This remains an eight all time. So back to the top of the Seattle lineup, digging in. D. Gordon, three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. One catches the edge of the zone called a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Alar moving in. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The center fielder, number double zero. Striding in, Malik Smith. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And that misses one and one. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Stepping in now, Mitch Hanniger. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Here's the 1 0. 
That misses 2 and 0. Oh. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. The set and the 2 and 0. Oh. Outside with that delivery, and it's 3 and 0 oh now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3 and 0. Oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. He set the 3-1. Three Swung on and missed three and two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. One, two, three, go the Mariners. Score remains even at eight apiece. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. First offering on its way. On the corner at the knees, 0 and 1. There's strike two as the hanging slider was let go. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0 2. Got to find a way to grind. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. In now, Rafael Devers. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First pitch of the at bat. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Bases are empty, one man out. Bouncer to the left side. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The center field on the top. Kevin Pillar. So digging in now, Kevin Pillar. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he misses with it one and one. Two out, nobody on. Hit to short. Crawford gloves it. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. This remains an eight all time. Ryan Brazier comes on to start the home tenth, and he's just hoping to get this one into the eleventh inning. Striding forward now, the Mariners' cleanup hitter, Kyle Seeger. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. One pitch on its way. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at one and one. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. The one two. And he 
fouls this one off. The one two. Oh that's off the plate. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher try to stand those hitters up. The two two. And it's fouled away. Another 2 2 offering. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Here's another 2 2. Three ball. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Now the payoff pitch home gets him looking strike three. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Stepping in, Tom Murphy. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. First pitch on its way. And now the Red Sox will get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The 0-1 pitch. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. To the plate now, Evan White. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. One and oh, here it is. And a strike to even the count. One and one. One and two as he chases the slider. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Mariners are down in order. Score remains even at eight apiece. Christian Vasquez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped up. Back behind second. Gordon has a play. And that's the first out of the inning. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out. A pop-up to start the inning. Settling in now, Michael Chavis hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. First pitch of the at bat. Called a strike on the outer half, 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. And it's 1 and 1. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside, 1 and 2 now. That was ugly. Howdy. If you're waving at me. 
And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Here it comes. Line toward right center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Taking another look at it, the ball has some top spin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mitch Moreland attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Fouled off. The windup and the 0 2. High in the air out to center field. Smith will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. This remains an eight all time. Next for Seattle, Austin Nola. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Breaking ball called just a bit low. And a slider stays outside and he falls behind 2 0. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2 0 as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. And now pitch on the way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. The 2-1 home takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Got to love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. Two two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that two two pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And the winning run will reach. It's a leadoff walk to start the home half here in extra inning. Wow, if that's not a strike, I don't know what is. I know these subs have a tough job. I get it. We'll see if he gets the next borderline call or if there are any makeup calls coming up. In now the Mariners DH Dylan Moore the winning run is at first base. Here's the first pitch. Bunt attempt is popped into foul ground. And he'll try and get that winning run into scoring position as he puts this one down. Oh and he can't come up with it. Definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. Here's the first pitch. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. The 1 0. Swing and a miss, 1 and 1. The 1 and 1 pitch. Two 
2 1 pitch is a fastball swung on and missed 2 and 2. Here's the 2 2 pitch and a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Josh Taylor takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Red Sox, number 72, Josh Taylor. D. Gordon will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Here's the first pitch. The high fastball is in there. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Gordon carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Now the one and two pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. a swing and a miss and that folks is a big out number two big strikeout for the second out there but he's not out of it yet we'll see if he can feed off that K wiggle out the jam and keep this game tied in now Malik Smith and that misses ball one two hits in four attempts to this point Ready with the 1 0. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The Mariners leave a couple. The score remains even at eight apiece. Sam Tuivalala gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. Stepping up now, Jose Peraza struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. And that's going to get through into left, so there's your possible go-ahead run on base to lead off the inning. And he needed extra innings to get it, but there's his first hit of the game, and that'll keep the hit streak alive and kicking. And D Row, that's one of the beautiful things about the game of baseball, right? You go extra innings, that lineup turns over, and was able to get him one extra AB. Yeah, and he'd be lying right now if he said he wasn't thinking about it. The boys hooked him up right there. Pitching staff extended the game a little bit. One more plate appearance, and he extends the hit streak. One ball, no strikes to count. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Tui Valala has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. And he'll try to bunt that man to second, but this one kicks foul. Now the one and two pitch pulls this one into the air out into right field giving Chase his Hediger he gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. 
programming note to pass along here. Due to the length of our ball game tonight, the Jody Kelsey show will not be seen this evening so that we can bring you the conclusion of this ball game. Doggone. So stepping in, J.D. Martinez. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. That's wide, 2-0. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. A dive, but he's back. Now the 2-0. Grounded back up the middle. Gordon is up with it. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Still one run can win this thing as we move ahead to the bottom of inning number 12. And we are deadlocked at eight apiece. Bottom of the 12th inning now. Digging in, Mitch Henniger. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. A ball and a strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there I don't care if it's middle of the plate that's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on grounded to third Devers fields it cleanly throws in time and that's at number one Stepping into the box, Kyle Seeger. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. Cut fastball above the letters, a ball and a strike. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Now the pitch. Strikes out again, and that's the fifth time he's punched out today. This has certainly not been his game. Now, now with the play, Tom Murphy. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch on its way. Hit on the ground toward the left. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting right there. Two out base knock to put the winning run on base. Let's see if someone can catch a gap and end this thing. At the plate, Evan White, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. And 
that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. And he misses two and one. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate. A crooked number going on the board. Ready for another shot now. Austin Nola, he's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. Now here's a ground ball up the middle and into center field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And they're going to walk off as winners here in 12 innings. Hey, this game looked like it was going to be one of those wild ones right from the beginning. But when you could win this thing in walk-off fashion, what a way to win a ball game. A walk-off win? And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he was a big factor in this one, guys. He swung himself into a three-hit ball game, so he was seeing the ball really well and put some good swings on it, too. Close one, nine to eight at the end of the game in this one. Sam Tuivalala claims the win out of the pen, his first. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. Our final line for tonight. First for the Victoria Seattle Mariners, nine runs, 12 hits. Two errors, they left seven men on base. For the Red Sox, eight runs on 15 hits. One error, they left 15 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 56 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home.